Hey everyone, Jeff here from Films at Home, and today we've got a look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on 4K Steelbook and compare it to the previous 4K release out of Germany. Hey everyone, so thanks for coming back to the channel today for this review video. If you haven't been following along in the world of physical media, you may not have heard this, but the Texas Chainsaw Massacre recently released on 4K in the North American market from Dark Sky Films. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that I reviewed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on 4K a few months back because we got this German release from Turbine Media. Now, I'm going to talk about each of these releases and how this new Dark Sky Films US release compares. We'll talk video transfer audio, and I'll also talk a little bit about the upcoming second site 4K release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre because I think that may be the winner out of all of these different releases. So we'll get into all of that. So to kick things off, first of all, this is a brand new release from Dark Sky Films and they own the rights to Texas Chainsaw Massacre under MPI Media. So anything that Dark Sky Films and MPI Media, that's them. They own the rights to home video releases of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which means that this previous German release uses the same 4K transfer that this uses because they had that out on license from MPI Media. In fact, you can look on the back of the box and there's an MPI Media Group logo down by the Turbine logo. So basically at this point, if you own the German release, the video transfer is the same as what we get here on this 4K. So if you want to know more about the video and the audio, I do have that full 4K review which covers this transfer in depth. I will say this as a quick recap, 16 millimeter, it's tough to make that look much better on 4K, but this is by far the best the Texas Chainsaw Massacre has ever looked. This release also adds Dolby Vision HDR and HDR10. That certainly enhances the image even further, and it adds a Dolby Atmos track, which I thought does give us a little bounce over what we got on Blu-ray for the 7.1D TSHD. So overall, not a bad transfer at all. This is the best the movie's ever looked. It's probably the best the movie ever will look, but We'll talk second sight in a moment. Now, the Steelbook here for Dark Sky Films is pretty cool. I went with the Steelbook. They also have a slip cover release, which has different artwork, but I love the original poster art. Unfortunately, the back is just a plain white, so nothing really going on there. But popping this open, you do get a mini poster with the original poster art and their new artwork. And then you get the 4K and the Blu-ray disc with some artwork on the inside. So. I think it's a pretty decent release from Dark Sky Films. I like the Steelbook and the slipcover version, and they actually have some extra features. A lot of these features were available on previous releases of the Texas Chainsaw, but there is a new feature length documentary called The Legacy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And the nice thing about this one, if you're in the US, is that all of this stuff is in English because it's not on this release. Reading the back of this, it's all in German. Uh, some of the special features, I believe, were in German as well. Like, I remember that being an issue. At this point, given that they're the same video transfer, if you speak German, that's a great release. But if you're in the US, this is a pretty solid buy. It looks good, it sounds great, and it has some pretty decent packaging options. Now, just to give you a refresher, the Turbine Media releases, if you did wanna buy them, they have a cool slip case here, which also does come with a steelbook. A little bit of a different artwork on the steelbook popping it open you get different disc art as well which i actually kind of prefer and then this release does come with a booklet um, which is about 40 pages long but is entirely in german so if you're not a german speaker which i am not that booklet doesn't do a whole lot for you. So at this point in the US, your best buy for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is definitely that Dark Sky release. Now what I did want to touch on, and I mentioned I don't think this movie can look much better than it does here from this transfer, is an upcoming release from Second Sight. They're over in the UK, so that release will be in English. You'll get all the special features in English, and it probably has the best packaging out of all three of these. Personally, I can't wait to get that one for the packaging all the different artwork and the art cards that are included. There's gonna be a big booklet included as well that Dark Sky Films didn't have in the US. So I think that Second Sight version will be the definitive version of the film to own on 4K. But the other cool thing that they've mentioned is that they are doing additional restoration work. Now, not sure what that means yet. We'll have to wait and see when that comes out. 
but it could just mean they're cleaning it up a little bit more. It could mean they're doing some sort of revisionist thing. I mean, it could be really good. It could be really bad. Depends on how this additional restoration work plays out. So I will reserve judgment on that video transfer until I can get it in hand. It comes out in a few months in the middle of 2023, or actually I think April 2023. So just a, a few weeks. And we'll compare it to these two transfers and these releases. That could be very interesting. That could end up being the best looking version Although, being 16 millimeter, a very old movie, not a pristine source, a very gritty image, I'm not sure how much more that they could do, but I will reserve judgment until I see it. But I will say, if it's at all an equal or better, that second sight release looks like the one to buy if I'm a consumer because it just has so much great packaging and it just it's going to look great on the shelf and i love their other releases of things like the witch and drive and the guest and dawn of the dead i mean they do such an excellent job so that's the one that i'm really looking forward to but if you want a cheaper option something that is available now this dark sky films release is pretty good you have a couple packaging options it's loaded with special features and you can't really go wrong with it so that is my quick little review of this new 4k steelbook and release from dark sky films if you want more in-depth video comparisons and things like that the link to my original texas chainsaw massacre 4k review will be in the description and in the pinned comment so go check that out if you do want to purchase this dark sky film steelbook i'll leave a link in the description as well where you can buy that on amazon that helps support my channel so i appreciate it and of course we'll leave links to the second site release so you guys can check that out i think it's going to be very exciting but i will cover that one when it releases also, if you're watching this, I want to give a little teaser. I do have a new home video history uh, video coming, which is going to be on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So keep an eye out for that. It should be coming to the channel very soon. And it's one that I'm really excited about because it has some super interesting information. So that's my review of Texas Chainsaw Massacre from Dark Sky Films. Fingers crossed that Second Sight takes us a step further. But even if they don't, I will say this looks fantastic and it's so awesome to own a 4k release of this classic movie it looks just incredible on 4k so it's worth a purchase no matter which version you can get to be honest thanks for watching have a great rest of your day stay safe and stay healthy out there and i will talk to you all soon